food is so frustrating. I can't restrict properly anymore. I just can't do it. I've tried. And I can't handle the hunger. I mean, I can, but it feels like, well, I can manage. Like, if I'm really set and determined, I can do 500 calories a day. But eventually, I just say to myself, why am I torturing myself like this? Because I'm one of those people who really feels hunger. Like, if I'm hungry, it's all I can think about all the time. And I obsess about food constantly. And I don't like that anymore. There was a time when it used to, I don't know, I guess it used to be a distraction or something, but I don't, I don't like it anymore. I feel like it's, every time it happens, I'm just like, my thoughts go something along the lines of, why am I restricted to lose weight? Why do I want to lose weight? Because other people think I should? Maybe? Why? Why do they think you should? They don't really care about your weight so much. It's you that cares. Why do you care? Well, I care because I think I have to be thinner in order to be liked more. God, Carolyn, you're so superficial. Yeah, I know. That's really superficial. Why am I doing this crap to myself? I'm torturing myself for the superficial reason that I want to be skinny. So then I'm like, no, you're being stupid. You're being an idiot. You know. Nobody cares if I'm skinny or fat. I'm not a supermodel. There's no earthly reason why I have to be super skinny. None at all. Nothing I'm ever going to do with my life has anything to do with my weight. Because it's not the kind of person I ever was until restriction hit. So, sometimes... This is going to sound weird. Sometimes I almost think the binging is like... my way of getting back at society's expectations. And I know that's a stupid reason for binging, or allowing myself to binge, because half the time I just want to binge, and I'm trying to find whatever reason I can find, subconsciously or consciously, to binge, so... Health is just so hard. <laughs> when I'm not restricting, I'm binging and purging. When I'm not letting myself do either of that, I'm compulsively overeating, or just plain old binging. If I'm not doing either of that, I'm eating a lot of junk foods, and at no point am I ever exercising, which I really need to start doing. I don't know. Holidays just been ed 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 ed. So, <laughs> you know, it's pretty sad that even among all the good times with family and friends stuff and. Christmas presents. This is what it comes back to: is ED, eating fucking disorder. This is stupid. I'm sure, this video is a million years long. Who knows if I'm gonna have to split it up or not? Because I've been talking for so fucking long. But anyway, we'll see. And if I gotta split it up, I gotta split it up. And whoever wants to watch it'll watch it. And I don't really care because I said what I needed to say. So I know there's a few of you who'll probably watch it. So yeah. anyway, I hope everybody had a better Christmas than me. I hope you didn't all freak out too much about food. Maybe some of you actually had plans to get through it. I didn't make any kind of a plan. Might have helped, but I didn't think about that. And I don't do good with planning anyway. Because I've got so much other stuff to remember anyhow. Planning food is the last thing on my mind. So. Maybe if I actually had a therapist, but no, my therapist won't call me back. I'm so mad at her for that. She's an idiot.